India has given birth to spiritual dynamos who have taught that in each human being, the power of God resides. This rich spiritual heritage can easily be traced back through its countless volumes of transcendental scriptures and tales of saints and sages. India has specialized in self-realization, moksha, the spiritual revelation of the divine unity of our soul, Atman, and the oversoul, Brahman. This unity, this oneness, is defined as yoga. Yoga means really union. Now supposing there is a there is sand and there is chalk. Sand and chalk mixed together, it is a yoga. But all these yogas are temporary. Only one permanent yoga in creation, which is the great consciousness, divine consciousness, which pervades everything, human beings, monkeys, stars, planets, everywhere. One consciousness pervading the whole creation. And when a man realizes that he is a part and parcel of that creation, part thinking of that consciousness also, then you live in the yoga. That is, I understand that is, I and my creator are one. Yoga means yoga chitta vritti nirvadha. We have to control our mind and meditate just like uh, when we pour oil if you put pour water water it will pour drop by drop but if you pour oil to one vessel from another vessel it will not drop by drop it will be continuous flow so when we meditate that should be a continuous process. That continuous process we tell it yoga. Kriya Yoga is the most ancient and most effective yogic science that has roots that reach back in history to the times of Sri Krishna and Sri Rama. Lost over the ages, Kriya Yoga was revived by the timeless Maha Avatar Babaji Maharaj in 1861. With this auspicious meeting of the renowned householder saint Sri Lahiri Mahasaya, who became the spiritual fountainhead of Kriya Yoga. Lahiri Mahasaya had several renowned disciples who were authorized to teach Kriya Yoga. Swami Sri Yukteswarji and Sri Sanyal Mahasaya both taught Kriya Yoga and both established ashrams in Puri, just a few hundred meters from each other. One modern realized master and disciple of both Sri Yukteswarji and Sri Sanyal Mahasaya was our beloved Gurudev, Paramahansa Hariharananda Giri. In order to learn more about this great master, we have gone on a journey into the heart of India and back in time to listen to the stories of some longtime disciples in the hopes of discovering some mystical gems about the life of this great immortal yogi. Those days, Karar Asim was a very famous place where Aryananda Baba lived. So he was a very brilliant hmm, man and he talked about uh, Kriya Yoga, and not only Kriya Yoga. He was a man who had full of 
love. He loved the small children also, like his friend or like his uh, son or daughter, anything. The great Kriya Jogi, Hariharananda Gigi, was such a person that everyone who is residing in Orissa for the last hundred years knows him very well. Such a illustrious personality, incarnation of knowledge, love, and he has a tremendous power to enchant the audience, which is wonderful speech. The greatest speaker I have ever seen in my life. For that reason, my father, Dr. Raghunath Rath, who was the editor of Samaj, the president of Lok Sevak Mandal, and the minister of Odisha government, always used to pay respect to that great saint, the direct disciple of Paramahamsa Yogananda, his direct disciple. And they used to visit all these eminent personalities. They have very good relationship with my family, that means with my father. I, from my early childhood, I happened to be in close contact with this eminent and dedicated spiritual souls from my early life due to the blessing of Almighty. He called, I was summoned up to his room and there was nobody else, just he and me. He said, Al Baba, sit down, sit down, meditate. Uh, you understand Kriya, so you would understand. We first go through every chakra, first step. So I was trying to go through the chakra and I was at Swadishthan or Manipur. And I was there for a little longer time. So Baba guiding from the cart. Anil Baba, why are you stuck at Manipur? Loudly telling me. Baba, why are you stuck at Manipur? You don't have to cleanse your chakras. Guru ko dekha, your chakras are clean. Go to the infinity north and meditate. I followed the instruction, but I was awestruck. How can an individual physically sitting outside you know at what place are you meditating? Hari Harananda Kutura. He could tell me that why are you stuck at Manipur? and ask me to move up to infinity north with him. That was his way of making the kids understand that he was far beyond anything that you can describe. These are gurus beyond descriptions. In many occasions, they ask, what is Kriya Yoga? I should follow a master, whether the master or the guru is uh, capable of doing everything or not. Some questions people ask me, and regarding Kriya Yoga also they ask. And I have told that this is a simple technique in which you can control your senses, that's all. Once you have controlled your senses, then you become equal with God. Then he told that, uh, then what the difference between Gurudev and yourself? Then I simply answered them that we people are slave of our senses. He's the master of senses. Suppose he is standing and he will go to bow down at his feet. Then he will immediately ask, Are you God conscious? And whenever anybody will come rushing to touch his feet, then he will watch it whether you are God conscious or not whether you are conscious of your breath or not, then immediately he will intimate you that are you God conscious. Then he said Kriya Yoga, 
is a practice. It is not a theory. Always you should, in all your activities, you must perceive the presence of God and practice it. Then you will develop. Always tells an ounce of practice is better than tons of theories. I have always remembered his word. Even if you practice one hour in a day, that will be sufficient than reading ten books. So, the people progresses in Kriya Yoga. I have seen so many disciples who are now somebody in Kriya Yoga. They have practiced a lot. So, practice makes a, makes a man perfect in Kriya Yoga. Whenever I have any problem, Baba solved it. He was just like a father to me, just like a friend to me. I could say whatever I wanted to ask him.